In the heart of a turbulent past, join us on the compelling journey of Daniel Novak, a pseudonymous figure who courageously unveils his transformation from darkness to redemption. A story echoing the struggles of a former member of a right-wing skinhead group in 1990s Poland. Meet Daniel Novak, a 14-year-old teenager navigating the harsh realities of an impoverished district. Yearning for acceptance and influenced by societal upheavals, Daniel finds himself drawn to a radicalised group of skinheads and football hooligans, seeking identity in a world of chaos. Daniel, alongside trusted comrades, immerses himself in the complex web of neo-fascist ideology. They draw inspiration from figures like Roman Domowski and even fumble through a translated copy of Hitler's Mein Kampf. Their activities lack formal structure, but have a profound impact on their community. Against the backdrop of post-communist Poland, Daniel reflects on the psychological pressures that fueled his radicalization. Frustrated by economic disparities and societal changes, he and his peers opt for abstract enemies over tangible solutions, spiralling deeper into the clutches of extremism. Violence becomes a norm as Daniel's group clashes with rival subcultures, primarily targeting punks. The allure of strength and contempt for others dominate their actions, creating a volatile environment where clashes are inevitable. Joining the radical movement proves to be a one-way ticket with Daniel acknowledging the deep-rooted fanaticism within the group. Breaking free becomes an arduous journey, complicated by the group's reluctance to let go of someone possessing crucial knowledge about their activities. After four tumultuous years, Daniel decides to renounce violence. However, the path to redemption is filled with challenges. Changing high schools becomes a necessity, leading to isolation and loneliness, as he faces the consequences of breaking away. Today, Daniel Novak stands as a testament to the possibility of change and growth. Graduating from university and working in an insurance company, he embodies resilience and transformation beyond the shadows of radicalization.